Hey guys, what's up? It's Bibzu7 here again, and welcome to the finale of the 10 mil Slayer XP Challenge. That's right, we are going to be finishing the series in this episode, kicking it off here with some Zamorak Gobbler's Dungeon, Greater Demons is the task we got. And uh, we need to get 10.3 mil XP uh, to finish the series. Also, get a Garb of Subjugation here, pretty nice, uh, that's the top. Although all God Wars items are crashing into crap at the moment, so it's not as good as it used to be. Still, it's pretty cool to pick that up. But like I said, we need to get 10.3 mil XP to compensate for the XP on our tracker that is from Soul Reaper. So we will be going a bit over 10 mil, but we will be reaching that in this episode, which is pretty awesome. Um, and it's mainly due to the fact that we got some pretty good tasks in this episode. We got pretty lucky with good XP tasks. And uh, it was a nice way to end it off. Uh, right here, just a few kills after the subjugation top, we actually get a ward, which is the worst drop, of course. The shield, like, uh, worth like 30k, but I wasn't too mad since I had just gotten the uh, top, so, you know, it's, it's whatever, really, I guess. Um, just hopefully we don't get any more of those. That's actually only our first one on the series. We've done a lot of Zami Gobblers from getting Greater Demons tasks. Um... Right here we actually get another drop as you guys will see. It is uh, Boots of Subjugation so that was pretty nice. Uh, those are like 1 mil I think so not too bad I guess but not the best drop to get either of course. But you know, I'll take it. Uh, not too shabby as they say. Either way though, um, I do have some pretty cool information for you guys once we get to selling the tab. Uh, like I, I, I don't really show myself selling it but I have a lot of stuff to say about um, what I got, like, in terms of how much each thing was worth, like, I, I kind of have points of interest to talk about, so it'll probably go over the length of the actual recording, but, uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in, like, statistics and how much certain things in my ba in my tab were worth, then, uh, you can stay tuned to the end, and you'll, I'll be having a bunch of statistics there for you guys. As you can see, for the trip, we got 8.6 mil, we did about half the task on that trip, it was one hour. So, you know, 8.6 mil in an hour, not too bad at all. And um, second trip here, we get a, uh, another drop. It's actually a gown of subjugation. So, got pretty lucky on this test. We got four drops, a gown, a, and a top in there. And then the boots and ward, not so good there. But still, pretty nice to get the gown uh, pretty early on in the trip as well. So, definitely a nice drop to see. Um, but we are going to be finishing up this Zami task right here so as you guys can see after we kill this minion uh... the melee minion is the uh... one that counts as a greater demon oh no the zany boss was the final one either way we did get the uh... task complete message 644 tasks in a row as you guys can see there pretty nice um, to hit that and uh... we are just going to tell you out and i'm going to do a quick price check of the loot just so you guys can see how much it got this trip it wasn't as long I think it was like an hour and a half. I mean, no, not an hour and a half. Uh, like 45 minutes maybe for this trip. And we managed to get a good six, uh, 6 6.8 or something like that in mil. So pretty cool. Not as good as the last trip, but still. Got pretty lucky to pick up some drops from uh, Zami there. Next task here, we are going to be getting... Um, I forget what we get, actually. Oh, yeah, we actually managed to get Glacors, which I thought was pretty awesome for the first time we got Glacors on the series. I've had them unlocked for about 2 mil XP now. But we never managed to get them until uh, the final episode right here. So pretty cool to get them. We got 67 of them, and I actually got an elite clue scroll, which they don't. I, I've never really gotten elite clue scrolls from them, so it's, I think it's a pretty rare drop. But I did manage to get one, which I guess is kind of lucky. Um, and these things give like almost 2,000 Slayer XP each, so they're pretty good for Slayer XP, and um, they drop some decent drops. You know, you always have the boot chance and everything like that, so. You know, pretty good, uh, and we're going to be finishing up the task here, so no boot drops, and uh, I'm not going to be counting the shard drops in the tab. I have like 81 shards in my bank now, I just need to go back to Clay Source, finish it up. As you guys can see, we just hit the 10 million XP mark on the counter, but as I've said several times, we aren't stopping till 10.3 mil to compensate for the Soul Reaper XP we got during that series. Going to open up the Elite Clue Scroll we got from Glace Horse now, though, so here is the casket cracking it open and uh, I thought it, this was like one of the worst elites I'd ever seen but crystal keys are actually pretty dang expensive for whatever reason so it wasn't actually that bad in the price check 
Uh, if you didn't have, if I didn't have those crystal keys, it would have been pretty awful. But the crystal keys were actually 57k each, uh, bringing the total up to 260k. So pretty average elite at at that rate. Um, I forgot to record me getting this task, but my next task was Eretz, which is also very good for XP. And uh, there's the complete task right there. We didn't get anything, but it's always good for money because the bones and all that. But um, yeah, I forgot to record myself getting it by accident. So yeah, whoops. But uh, 10.1 mil XP now on the counter, 200k to go, and um, two tasks to go before the episode is over. So we're going to get some good tasks for this. And um, as you guys can see, we managed to get some Ganodermic Beasts, which is a pretty good task. Um, not bad, really. Uh, they give some decent XP, and um, they're pretty quick to do. So there's that task complete as well. And... Um, we are going to be heading back to Curdell to get our final task for the series. And uh, it's going to need to get us about 150k XP. So we kind of need a good task uh, for this. And as you guys will see, we do manage to get one that is uh, good enough uh, for sure. Uh, after this price check, got about 1 mil from that task. They're not too good for money anymore because seeds have crashed so much. Um, well, torso seeds mainly, but you know they can still be decent. Either way, though... Um, I forgot to record myself getting this task as well. I don't know what happened, but I did have a. Uh, I got greater demons again, so pretty lucky in this uh, series. And that's going to be the final task for the series. Um, I, I meant in this episode though. We were pretty lucky with tasks. We got greater demons, uh, glacors, um, Eretz, and uh, uh, Ganodermic beasts, and then greater demons again. Pretty lucky. We managed to get a star of ancient effigy right here, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, you know. Would rather get another drop or something, but effigy is good. You know, get some uh, some decent XP from that, and we also get an elite clue scroll. So the final elite for the series as well, right there. And as you guys can see, the counter we are getting closer and closer to that uh, 10.3 mil mark. Only around 20k XP off now, so that's pretty. Uh, it's pretty awesome. I was I was really excited. I I just grinded this out. I was doing like I did like all these tasks in one day. But um, sadly, my arena expired before I finished, so I just decided to um, buy the arena back again. Um, I was thinking about teleporting out, but I did actually buy the arena back and finish the task at Zami. So that's why my XP went up so much more. Um, I just did a bunch more kills and didn't get anything. But there's the Elite Clue Scroll reward, a Sarah paid for, a UC, Blood Runes, and a Rune Plate Body. Not too good, but not too bad. Pretty average. Sarah, uh, Sarah Page, I thought was only going to be like 20k, but it's actually 129, so, you know, pretty much the same as the last Elite we got. Not too bad, I guess. But, yeah, we are now done with the series. This is the cash I got from it, 8.755 mil from, you know, most of the God Wars drops and stuff. And um, I have 34 Ferocious Rings left over. I used up a lot of them during the series, so, yeah. And here's one final look at the tab and all the stuff in my inventory counts as well. Because either I was storing that in the GE or I already have some of it in my bank for other uses. So take one last good look at that juicy loot tab before we're going to be selling it off. Also, I got 4,662 Crimson Charms and 1,253 Blue Charms from doing this series. As you guys can see in my inventory there. Kind of a lot of those. There's all my Tusca Mask pieces as well. And um, yeah, a lot of charms obviously. Uh, Slayer is pretty good for charms. Just make sure you bring a charming imp or at least pick up the blues and crimsons. And uh, all that stuff is the stuff that I either already have in my bank and I just uh, couldn't put it back. But that's all the blood runes, death runes, nature runes, astral runes, law runes, and tooth half keys. And after we sold all of the loot, it totaled up to 280.9 mil cash. So. That's pretty awesome. Those mud staffs, by the way, wouldn't sell for 1k each, so that's pretty hilarious. Um, I just kept them, but um, yeah, 280.9 mil, effectively 281 mil from doing 10 million Slayer experience. Now it kind of sucked because I could have gotten a lot more if the God Wars items hadn't crashed. I probably lost at least 30 mil from uh, uh, God Wars items being lowered. Uh, you know, from crashing and stuff. Also, going to show my points off here. Um, didn't skip any tasks for the series. We have 2655 points. The reason it's not higher is because I spent some of my Slayer points in the Soul Reaper shop. Um, so that's, and I also toggled on the uh, Nihels, Tormented Demons, and Glacier's tasks. So that's why it's not a higher amount. 
But um, yeah, there's all the total results from this series in my inventory. The charms, the cash, and um, I'm pretty happy with that. If you wanted to calculate it out, you get about 28 gold per one Slayer XP you earn. If you are, you know, taking the best money tasks you can with the Slayer VIP tokens that I do, it's 28 gold earned per XP. And, you know, most things give you almost 100 XP per uh, kill. So it's like uh, almost, almost 2,800 gold per Slayer monster you kill if you get my luck, you know, all that. It's obviously not an exact figure or anything, but, yeah. That's pretty much the end of the video. For those of you who want to stick around for the statistics to see what specific things were worth, I'm going to go over those now. So for those of you who are leaving, I hope you all did enjoy the series. But yeah, I had 8.5 mil in Dragon Bones, 10 mil in Infernal Ashes, 9 mil in Dagoneth Bones, and 17 mil in Eret Bones, which totals up to 44.5 mil of my loot was just in remains, like bones and ashes and stuff, which is kind of crazy if you ask me. Rune items, I had 2.4 mil in Rune Ores, 2 mil in Rune Skims and Battle Axes, 6.5 mil in Rune Plates from Eret's and stuff. 1 mil in rune chains, 5 mil in rune legs, and 2.5 mil in rune bars, totaling up to about 20 mil in rune items alone, so definitely worth picking those up. Uh, I had 3.4 mil in dwarf weed herbs, 5.8 mil in lantidime herbs, and uh, the assorted other herbs I had added up to about 3.5 mil, so pretty decent for herbs, uh, around 12.7 mil total in herbs. My addy bars from doing armadil KC, mostly, as well as from Aerith, was, was worth 6 mil. I had uh, my water talisman sold for 17.4 mil. I had about a thousand of those, and uh, the market price for them was 11.2 mil. So they sold for 6.2 mil over market price, which was crazy. Uh, I wasn't expecting that at all. But as you guys will see, a lot of stuff sold for over market price. I have um, my earth talismans sold for 6.4 mil, which was 2.4 mil over the market price. I have no idea why those sold for so much. Why are they going up like that? That's really weird. As well as fire talismans, they sold for 600k over market, uh, totaling up to 1.6 mil. The market was 1 mil. I don't know why um, all the talismans sold for over like that though. But um, uh, my lantidime seeds were worth 9 mil, which was 1.5 mil over the market price. Pretty nice there. Um, so yeah, I had 1.3 mil in blue dehyde, 1.6 mil in dwarfweed seeds, which obviously versus the lantidime seeds isn't that much. But the only reason you don't get as many uh, dwarfweed seeds as you do lantidime seeds is because at Zami God Wars, you have to kill a lot more bosses before you complete your task uh, as opposed to armadil. So you don't get as many armadil boss kills, which is of course why you didn't, you do not get... Um, you do not end up getting more uh, Dwarfweed Seeds. 2 million in Magic Logs, 5 mil in Dagonoth Hides, and the Dagonoth Hides actually sold for 1 mil over their market price, which was really weird because I always thought Dagonoth Hides were, you know, never easy to sell, but these actually sold for over market. I don't know what the deal was there. My Crystal Keys were actually worth uh, 3.6 mil. As I said, those are pretty expensive. My Serenic Scales were worth 5 mil. U Logs, 1.2 mil. Zami wines were worth 5.2 mil, which was 1.2 mil over the market. And now getting into the uh, boss drops, I had seven dragon hatchets, which sold for 15.7 mil in total. I had seven mil in ascension keystones. I sold three subjugation tops for 17 mil and two subjugation bottoms for 10.5 mil. Sold two visages for 2.5 mil. Sold five Zami Hilts for 1.8 mil, which is a joke and a half. That's almost 300k each. Um, and I sold my Ascension Grips for 4.5 mil. So those are all the little statistics and stuff I thought I'd let you guys know about. You know, specific items and stacks that I thought were interesting and might be interesting to you guys as well. Pretty good series. I hope you all did enjoy. Made me some really good money. I'm going to sit on the money for right now. I might buy a Noxious Weapon or some Ascensions. In the future, they're currently crashing, so I want to stay away from them at the current time. But... Yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this series. Please like and favor if you did. Subscribe for future videos. And uh, I'm going to head back to Barrows now and start camping there, trying to get my final item. And I'm also going to be doing a lot of dungeoneering, trying to get my completionist cape. So I'm going to be, um, you know, not doing a new series just yet until I finish my Barrows one. So, yeah, other than that, guys, um, let me know what you thought of this final episode. I thought it was pretty epic. And um, I'll see you guys. Um, hopefully for my final episode of the Barrow's Beast as well. Back-to-back -back finales? That'd be pretty cool. See you guys later. Peace.